Is that guaranteed lethal? It's guaranteed lethal. On turn four. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Yay! Oh, good game. Too, too easy. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the freaking laser bean. If you know, you know. Uh, I haven't basically never ever used this card. It's actually too expensive for what it does. 5-7 finisher. Uh, again, it's a 6 cost card that can be removed by rocket science, can be removed by exploding fruitcake. Uh, we are going to try this combo though with Bicanolith. If you have Bicanolith on the field and they're not able to answer that, you can play uh, one of the three laser beans in this deck the next turn and actually do seven damage strike through, which will finish off the opponent. Now, there's a little bit of a funny thing I'm doing in this Picanolith deck is running Triceratops, then you got Health Nut, and then you got Wing Nut, Picanolith, Laser Bean. And the things that all of these cards have in common is that they are all, if you're against a crazy hero like Professor Brainstorm or any of them, they basically need to use Exploding Fruitcake. Uh, to remove all of these cards. Uh, even Exploding Fruitcake, typically on a Triceratops, is really going to be the only efficient answer. So, uh, if they're done with their Exploding Fruitcakes, let's say they, you know, they have to use that on, um, uh, on turn two and on turn four, they're not going to have another fruitcake for turn five for the Picanolith. So you should hopefully be able to have this just scot, scot free on the field, and then you can come in even with your laser bean. The chance of them getting three fruitcakes in the game is even, uh, you know, a real stretch of the imagination. So that'll be a really good matchup against the crazy class. Um, we are also running again just for stall in the early game, running Forget Me Nuts. It's also nice to combine a Forget Me Nuts, let's say, with a Picanolith if they have one brain left, let's say on turn six, uh, just to prevent it from getting rolling stones. You really want to try to draw out their rolling stone, uh, their hand of devastation and their weed spray, really play around them best you can. Uh, try to get the opponent to, let's say, use it, use those early also, uh, in order that your Picanolith will be better later. Now, the big combo in this deck for the big finish is going to be great responsibility together again, either with your Picanolith or your uh, health Knot, just playing Health Knot and two great responsibilities will actually make this do 16 damage all in one turn. Got to make sure that you have this in an empty lane. Just running Primal uh, Walnut, it's good at stalling, it's good at protecting your late game. Very good to stick in front of a Triceratops because it will protect it and make it grow uh, because it draws a it draws a card when you play it. And of course, if you play this together with Picanolith, this will do 9 damage. Ridiculous. Uh, Garlic also is a little bit of early game control, it's not bad, uh, usually they're anyway against Wall Knight going to play their minions on heights, so this will basically remove any one drop uh, that they play like Cheese Cutter if it's played on heights, otherwise if you play on the ground you can just remove it with Spike Weed Sector. Uh, that's basically the deck explanation, hope you guys enjoy, let's just get right into the game. Obviously Garlic is also a combo with the Picanolith, it's a one drop that basically will do 5 damage if you have Picanolith on the field. I, I really like the idea of just having so many jebates for the fruitcake so they're not able to <laughs> get the Picanolith. Even just jebating out their rolling stones and stuff like that with your Triceratops and Health Nut just makes our late game, the Picanolith, just so much better. What's the best class? I will do a, a tier list of the classes eventually. That is definitely on the list. Here's Neptuner. One to the two, to the three, and to the four. Definitely don't need two of these. All right. Again, if we can get Rolling Rolling Stone on two against the Forget Forget Me Nuts, that would be amazing. Teacher, teacher. Do I just take this out? Yes. Even trade. It's a control deck. At the end of the day. Use your one drop to control their one drop. That is what we gotta do. Garlic, yes! Just gives us an option if our opponent has a second teacher here. Flag. Flag? Which one of these do I do? I uh, believe this one. Unfortunately, not able to deal with the flag. Yeah, tier list of just the S tier cards. That's interesting. So of the S tier cards, I'll rate them. It's going to be hard to put anything not on S tier, though. I don't know if I'll do that. What is the play here? Cover the environment? If it's a black hole, then this does not do anything. It just moves it out of the black hole, which is bad. 
Uh, we just pass. There's no point in wait. I mean, if it's laser base alpha, then it's still a trade, so at least we take this out. That's tough. What would the other environment be besides for Black Hole and Laser Base? And it's Graveyard and Bucket Bay. Bucket Bay does... If, the, if it's Bucket Bay, it kills us. No one runs Bucket Bay, though. Um, I think it's past. It's, I mean, it's probably, it's probably Black Hole. That's the reason why. If there would be more people running Laser Base Alpha than Black Hole, you know, if Laser Base Alpha was the better environment, I probably would play this, but Black Hole is clearly the better environment. Especially in a deck like this running TJ, you're not going to have a good play for Laser Base. Frickin' Bucket Bay! Um... I sort of want to set this up. I'm going to go for the... I'm just going to go for the... The wing nut. I really want this combo to, like, OTK him. And he's been committing a lot of zombies. Like, if he goes shark, I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go for the kill, basically. We'll see what he has. Give me bubble. Uh. Next RNG is a stream. I just kind of do the RNG deck sometimes and the funny combo sometimes. Best way to get me to do an RNG deck is give me a new idea of a luck deck that I've never done before. That is the, that's the best way to make me do any any deck, actually. Give me a really great idea. Something inspiring. We're going to get weed sprayed to the Ice Age here. Oh my gosh. I'm a god. I'm a gird. That's a play. Draw out the weed spray. Second wing now. This should be fine. Oh, here we go. Middle manager. It's an okay card. It's a good way to activate Stompadon and Dinosaurs. It's pretty good value. It's good with Flag Zombie. He's running a Flag Swarm. This looks like flag, professional flags from Neptune. I'm sure he's running Pogos on this deck. Well, let it blow. He's hoping for this one. I'm hoping for this one, of course. Never lucky. He's still doing zero damage. It means he probably does not have rolling. He doesn't have Rolling Stone. In fact, he could have given him Weed Spray Blow there, and he would have done that. So let's go for the kill. I think if he had a, a Flick or a Weed Spray, he would have used it. I think so. I don't know how 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 liberal to be, but well, I can't really go for an OTK here anyway. What are we gonna do here? Just stall? We're just gonna... No, this doesn't do anything. Just doesn't do anything. Ugh. At least he doesn't have any tricks. Once we get an open lane, we're gonna ruin this guy. We can actually OTK him already, we just need to open a lane up. And somehow not die here. There's another Shamrock. Here. Warlord. I still don't have it. Four and three. I feel like I'm gonna need to six, seven, eight. How are we gonna do? <laughs> this doesn't work. 
I guess I have to rock it. Or can you send pictures? Just upload to Imgur. We have the command for that. I'd love to win this game. I don't know if it's gonna happen though. No, um, oh, that's gonna hurt. Is that lethal? It is. Maybe I should have played around, well, bubble. That's guaranteed. There's nothing I could do there. Harsh. Just didn't have it. If we would have gone super heal bubble and nut, would nut have saved us? No. Uh, yeah, nut would have saved us. Damn. All right. That was rough. Uh, problem was, I don't know. Then get Triceratops. Triceratops OP. Should be fine. Mm. Impasta. Why not Doomshroom? We have two things that died to Doomshroom in this deck. Doomshroom would not have saved us there, for example. He had the untrickable guy. I think it was the black hole that was the problem there. Oh, your mom is a black hole. That's a great answer. Best Spidow deck? Uh, the Star Slurred. Star Slurred Spidow, obviously. Star Slurred OP. And you guys get a lot of mixed messages from me about Star Slurred. Oh, I'll go for this. <laughs> it looks like these forget me nuts were very good in this matchup. It's fine. We Lockies, thank you. I'll probably use this next turn just to deny the card draw. Kind of a weird use of it, but... Ugh. Just sham. Just sham? Well, we can we can do this too. What's in the box of wine? Ooh. Is this better? Is this better than sham market? I don't know. This is gonna be better on six than Sham. But, uh. Eh. Yeah, that's rocking. Remember Insta Blocks? Oh my gosh, don't remind me. You see this thing that there was like a 5% chance of just filling up your block meter whenever. They just wanna woohoo and bonk bonk. It was just like slapstick comedy. I don't know. I don't really know what they were going for. Yeet! Oh! <laughs> Do we proc the block this turn? Or deny him the cards? Deny him the cards. Problem is if he has deadly then we're then we're extremely dead. Don't have deadly. Come on! Damn it! Wow the blows have been on point today! What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Come on man! At least he didn't have deadly barrel, that's the good news. Yeah, he has such a higher chance of getting some kind of deadly minion here, which is just gonna be the bit. We don't have an answer to Toxic Waste. Huh? Someone kill me! Should we go for the kill? This is probably a pogo, right? Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do here? <laughs> that was so bad! I need that Pecanolith back! Come on, man! Oh, that was harsh. Ladies and gentlemen, seven and five. Uh, I think the the best case scenario is just propping the block with this, so one damage is fine. It is Pogo. <laughs> come on, come on! Not running any grave busters in this deck. We'll get something going here. I need some blocks. There's a one. There's a one. <laughs> At least we proc the block, that's a good thing. There's a one. And 
and there's a two. Wow. So, how's this game coming along? Seems like it's delightful. Wow, I am so screwed right now. <laughs> oh. 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 We can actually OT cam with like this next turn. Let's just get rid of this guy. Should I heal here? How much could he possibly deal more damage? Like let's say he removes how could he remove these by the way? Piano? We're not gonna be able to heal anyway later. It's fine, I'll just heal. Galvanize. Galvanize can do four. You're right. Does he have a superpower? He used blow. You're right, he does for a second. You're right. Good call. Acid rain, no one cares. Just wants this guy to survive. Eat. Eat like a slice of. Eat. Acid rain, acid rain. That was pretty good. He hasn't had any removal cards. I think the laser beam combo is going to win next turn. I'm no doctor. As long as he doesn't have a pogo, we're good. No cards for you! It just makes him less likely to have a pogo since we deny the card draw. What an excellent play. Yes! Yes! It's guaranteed lethal! Look at this play! Guys, wait, is it enough? Oh no, we're one off? Wait. No, we're one off lethal. How are we one off here? No, it's only 14. Did we miss a damage somewhere? We're one off lethal. I can't believe it. This was 14 damage. This would have gone him. Wait. Wait! Empty block meter. The heal wouldn't have helped here. The heal would not have helped. Oh, he nibbled. You're right. If he would not have had nibble, we would have had it. What a fail. <laughs> I dragged that to the middle of the screen because I'm so used to playing Legends of Rune Terra where you drag the middle screen and then you target your guy. That's what I did instinctively. I can't believe it. What an epic fail. Damn. I think I'll just put that in the fail compilation. That was not cool. June 14. Nibble OP, what can I say? Nibble is SS tier. <laughs> <laughs> I should run Sunstrike in this deck. Again, in that matchup, it would have been good. Typically, Sunstrike is not the way you activate the count. We gotta stick another minion on the field instead. This is this is becoming a, a sad, folks. Absolutely, absolute sadness. Mm, pretty good. I'll put this on the ground. He really doesn't have any ground power. Ooh. Um, against Sumo, this is extremely bad, so we're gonna pass and probably just spike Weed Sector. Uh, we actually do have an answer to the turn 3 mascot in our hand, which is amazing. If he passes... If he passes, we don't play this. Mm -hmm. 
We just do this. We just do this. Terrify? <laughs> you can't terrify. It costs two. Terrify should cost one. I think at one it would actually be a decent card. Two is just too expensive. I think he was going for terrify there. <laughs> Never. Well, if he passes here, we'll know. Where's mascot? Do it. Must do mascot. Is that the sumo now? Ladies and gentlemen, this man is super weird. That must be the sumo now. I wonder if he has sumo black hole would suck. Suck. What if we just do the health now? No, it's not worth it. We'll have better later. So just environment. Fine, I'll do it. Hit the sumo. Maybe he was going for Terrify on two. Maybe that was the move. You gotta move that to two, by the way. Watch him not put it in lane two. Do not have black hole. Black Hole would also just mess up every other thing we're trying to do in this game. Oh, if he has Black Hole, we're dead. <laughs> we need this. We need him to not. He's thinking of his one cost powers, but then he's like, wait, why aren't they working? What kind of sorcery is this? Thank you, Dama Baby. Oh, two months with the free subs. Real appreciate it, Dama Baby. Your mom's a black hole. That's what he got. Should we just go for it? <laughs> no. uh, let's do the half measure. Instead of committing our great responsibility, let's just not get Rolling Stones to the Ice Age. If he has a Rolling Stone, I'd love him to use it here, because Banks Bacanalith about three times better. It's five, it's still a hefty chunk of chunk of change. Chunk of change. This actually opens us up in two lanes for next turn, so this is a really good bubble. It's a free tempo bubble too. Chunk of change. Chunk of change! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know where this stuff comes from. It's just floating around my head somewhere. Play a uh, chump champion! Do it! Just do Wow, a chump champion is actually pretty good. <laughs> Never mind. Don't do it! This deck is very weak to chump champion. Chunky change. <laughs> No! <laughs> Damn it! Crap. OTK crap. Chunky change. <laughs> he goes for the jump champion. Let's go right back. Right back at you, bro. Bro. Who even runs chump champion? It's so... Harsh when you have a card that is not a good card. This card sucks. It's so bad, but it's like it counters your deck. So whoop de da, whoop de doozles. Wow. Use a laser beam next turn. gonna build a wall that's what we're gonna do look at this beautiful wall it's so beautiful <laughs> why please delete delete immediately you're so bad this is the only time you get this from conjuring this stupid piece of crap card why would that cost five it don't make sense 
Oh, damn it. No, but it's not. Nah, it He's trying to work on this Bacanolith. Still lives. No one cares. Get wrecked. We're plucking. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna get it. Now we're really doing it. As long as he doesn't have another chump champion, we're gonna OTK laser beam. This is gonna be the greatest day. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. Don't, don't do it. Well, we're still gonna block. Okay. Guys. Uh. And. Huh? 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 He's just gonna weed spray us. <laughs> huh? I think he has chop? You're right. Ah. Gotta keep that pecan off going. Bad Moon Rising! He is protected! No one cares! Guaranteed lethal, easy, OTK laser beam, best combo in the game, y'all know it. It's obviously the way to go. Wall Knight Pecano lift deck. Where the heck did he get Bad Moon Rising from? Oh, he's Rust Bomb. <laughs> I'm thinking like sports decks. Like, who run? It was Sports Moon Rising. That's a great, guys. That is a great combo. That's the greatest combo. More like Sad Moon. <laughs> I was just expecting him to get Zombot there for the record. Oh, it's such low rank today. Where's the over 30s? It, the season just resets. So these people are like got to rank 40 last turn. Last season? Yeah, it's not bad. Alright! Alright! Why is it all hardy heroes? <laughs> Don't want more hardy heroes. It's very sad. I think we just keep Shamrocket because it's Smash and he has no win conditions that don't die to Shamrocket. Alright, this looks like a good one. Oh, we didn't have an answer to Cheese Gutter though. Probably should have gone for early game. Please don't play Cheese Gutter. Brain Freeze isn't hurt. This is fine. It's not a Cheese Gutter. Imagine they played Cheese Gutter there. Distracting me? What? So he goes middle manager on one. <laughs> Mascot? This is fine, even if it gets Rolling Stones with Ice Age, it's totally fine. Uh, pass? Three? <laughs> I don't know what this guy's... What are you running? No wonder he only got to Taco. Did he bungee plumber on my face, by the way? <laughs> I just noticed that. What the heck was that? Is that guaranteed lethal? It's guaranteed lethal. <laughs> on turn four. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, good game. Too too easy. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that was good. Health Nut is one of the best cards in the game, guys. Easy. This deck is great. Guys, we're going 8 and 2 with this one. We had a couple unlucky matches. That nibble, though, we would have won that game. Thank you so much. G, T, to the C, to the Where N, are all the rolling the stones? I know, we haven't <laughs> seen a rolling stone yet today. Why is it all hardy heroes? Give me a freaking break. This isn't even that good on Z Mac because he can just answer these. Straight up. Oh, that's 
pretty good. Wow. Uh, now it's good. <laughs> party party today. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I use the bubble. I probably should not use the bubble and let him get me to the Ice Age on three. I think I'll just pass turn three. I, I wonder if I should bubble here. I, I just feel like this could be so, like, if we do this on three, on turn four, we could get 16 damage. If I go face here. Mm. <sighs> well, no, this doesn't even kill it anyway. Mm. <clears throat> Alright. What about Allosaurus in this deck? Instead of what? Why did he not kill this one? He wanted his guy to live? That's a weird move. <laughs> Why did he not shoot this one? Why charge his block meter? He would have to roll three and three. He'll go after this next turn. He messed it up. Maybe he wants to charge his block meter because he knows we're running OTK. Damn, he rolled a three? <laughs> no. Uh, we're not really gonna have the OTK. He's gonna have too many lanes clogged. Your mom is gonna have too many lanes clogged. Is he sniping? He's playing so slow. Uh, maybe he is sniping. Pass. The man just passed. He passed with, with unlife on the field. That was that was cute. I I can feel the sniper. Wow, it doesn't even. <laughs> it's two. Never mind. Just had a million environments. Ah. We have the sixteen damage combo on five. I need to keep keep this open though. Let's just go for eight. If he gets if he gets a one or a two here, we're gonna be bad. Maybe I'll just do this and go for the sixteen next turn. <laughs> Screw it, let's do it. All right, guys, we're gonna pull it off again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. No, don't play here! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? No! Wow. Kenneth is not very good here. Uh, we can do eight to this guy. That's right. Sniper? Everyone's calling Sniper in the chat. 
Lightning bolt. Ow. I don't know. Watch him roll triple ones now. One, one. Dude. Freaking dude. Well, how am I gonna win now, though? Ugh. Probably should have played around the lightning bolt. I really should have act doubled, doubled this up. Mm. How do we win? I need to. Oh, no. I need like a sham rocket for next turn for the OTK. If I if I get a sham rocket here, I'm in really good shape. Garlic. How about Sunstrike in this deck? <laughs> I I could. I'd have to. I'd have to ditch three laser beams for three sun strikes. I haven't even seen Triceratops yet, which is kind of dumb dumb, if you ask me. I guess we'll do this. Think <laughs> he's sniping? Everyone's typing the sniping emote in chat. <laughs> <laughs> clink, 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 clink. I could get rid of laser beam for a sun strike. That would be the the move. No, it's only well. No, it's still only fourteen. We can do this next turn if we can stall here somehow. <sighs> We're still. <laughs> Um, is there a way to not die here? I think we're donezo. We're not gonna survive. He has lethal in every lane. Think he's stream sniping? This would- it would have been le with Sunstrike it would have been lethal a long time ago. For us. There's no way. We can't block three lanes and and also block this. It's impossible. <sighs> How do you know he's sniping? <laughs> Probably is. He's playing way too slow. He admitted it? What, he's in the chat? Oh, he's in the chat? Alright guys. How about we'll keep the freaking laser bean in? And we'll get rid of these guys. Now it's good. I want to pull off OTK laser beam, guys. We have to do that's the whole point of the stream is to OTK the guy with the laser freaking laser beam. Plus, we'd have to change the name of the deck. Not worth it. Where is it? There it is. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, guys. Beautiful deck. Uh, if your sub didn't didn't ring yet, it probably means it's still processing. It. 
Alright, I've learned my lesson. Running four sun strikes instead of the four wing nuts. It's basically been <laughs> the thing every single game. These are so good against Brainstorm. Should I just pass the first couple turns and just keep the combo in my hand? It's all good. If he does too much damage, we'll do this one. Can't get rid of the laser beam, guys. I know probably Wingnut is better than laser beam here, but... We have to pull off the 14 damage OTK combo. You know what I would like one game today is to get a Triceratops. It would be just, like, amazing. Don't you guys think so? Wouldn't try, like, getting... I haven't seen Triceratops yet. Does it even exist is the real question. See, if he goes up minion here, we just go, um, health nut. <laughs> Too many sun strikes is gonna be bad. Oh, look, it's, it's freaking bullseye. Uh, this is fine. It just makes the count better if he has the fruit cake. If he doesn't, then he's dead. Dead zoo. Actually, he can't even fruit cake because we have forget me not. Forget me not so good. Uh, one more grape responsibility would be nice. Ooh, this is good. I think it's just if he passes, it's just garlic. Because this can get fruit cake down to one. It's basically the same as passing. Five damage. The fusion was not that good. Dragon Skywalker, you bad for sniping. It's okay. <laughs> that was the sniper from last game. Wow, so we get the easy five. Uh, we should be okay here. Is this ramp dance? This is ramp dance. Yeah, so he's gonna do a headhunter combo here. Oh man, we're a little... Uh, we're low on health for a headhunter combo deck. We'll try to pull off... I don't really have an OTK. This is the, uh, the video I uploaded on YouTube the other day. It's exact deck list, probably. There's that. Mm. I I don't I don't think he played it right to play the the disco floor on, on two though. Wait, there's the headhunter. Ugh. Uh, this is nine. It could just be candle up here. I bet, he, I bet you anything he's running a free kick. So we can either just be Candlelit, or we can do these two. Or these two. Just be Candlelit, if he has fruit cake, then we lose. If he has a free cake, we're, we're done. If he doesn't, then we're okay. So he's doing six, seven. Francovia is so bad. So now he needs two, two, two cards to win. A flamenco wins. Oh, we're done. <laughs> we didn't really have a way out of that, right? If we would have supered... If he would have supered, he still has so much damage the next turn. Maybe super was the better play. It's a great deck, though. Got, got killed by my own deck. He didn't, he didn't even play that optimally, and it still worked.
What are the uses for Corn Dog? You can use it in Aggro Wall Knight. It's not very, a very useful card. If it didn't have its ability, its hunt ability, it would be a lot better. Hunt is good for zombies. It's not good for plants, particularly amphibious plants. But anyway, another Hardy here. Now. Damn, that dancing deck is just too fast. Why is Corn Dog the only plant with Hunt? Because huh? they didn't make any other ones. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Hunt is not a good plant ability. It's only a way for dry zombies to become less bad. Could you not? We got Triceratops. I think that's the reason why we lost every game. Is we haven't gotten Triceratops yet. It's the first time we've seen it in our hands. Not like we've even gotten it in the late game. Are you even running Tri? You even Triceratops? Bro? We might get weed sprayed to the ice age here, but you know, if he passes, we pass. But if he don't pass, we hit the gas and we kick his. Grass. <laughs> Don't mind my sass. The heck is wrong with me? Oh, he's teleporting now. Now he's teleporting in paparazzi. Watch out. Uh, so this is now 14. <laughs> la 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 Just just rock it. We have to deal with this as a problem. <laughs> no. It's not, it's not, I don't think Primal Walnut. I don't know. The Stompin' on deck. Uh, Sunstrike is gonna do a lot of damage next turn. I really hope he commits two minions that are not. Uh, Gladiator's a little harsher. Let's see if he gets Glady. He hasn't used his superpower yet. I wonder if he has Chow. So. We really need to kill this. <laughs> so annoying. What do we do here? The teleportation zombie is the is the main problem. Do I just sun strike? This is a crazy sun strike. I feel like we'll have a better one later. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't have lethal because of Gladiator. We can only do five damage this turn. The the killing stomping on is not the thing. Our win condition right now Oh, it doesn't kill the gladiator. Is getting the gladiator and the teleportation zombie out. A again, if he has several more gladiators, it's an issue. I should have put the spike weed sector here though. If that was a mistake.
to be okay. You captain for the bits. Uh, I was protecting that. I would have protected teleportation zombie there if I was him, but anyway. Teleportation dies here, which means he has to start committing his zombies, which means we can OTK him. Guys, this is a good thing. The teleportation zombie is the problem. <laughs> you can't commit into an OTK unless he spams a bunch of minions. The best thing that can happen here is him playing seven brains worth of minions. Even if they end up being gladiators, it's fine. Stop playing teleportation zombie! Oh. Oh. Come on! <laughs> I need a break. I need a break. <laughs> Teacher? He's not gonna... He's not gonna do it. Stomp it on. Three and four? I think this is right. It's a lot of damage. Survey says. There we go. Should have him here? He has a teacher and two brains to, to work with. And 16 health. Only well, these two cards left, though. I, I really like our chances here, especially with the 9 damage strike through we have coming up. Yeah, that's lethal. Easy. Needed to block in order to get saved, but the... Tricarat, see, every game so far we've gotten Tricaratops. So they have 100% win rate. Bro, you had lethal? Bro! Bro, you missed lethal! You know what? Every person who says you had- I may- I have to include that in the rules of the stream, and I'll just say you missed lethal without explaining it. Okay, I'm adding it in. Bro! Bro! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> yeah, I should've kept that. Oh, whoops, why did I- Bro! Imagine missing lethal. It's not funny. I don't know why it triggers me when people say you miss lethal. Because most of the time people say you miss lethal, I didn't. Or they say, well, you might have had a small chance of lethal last turn if they had no answers to you. That's why it's annoying. Second forget me nuts. Could you not? Is that a conga? Oh my gosh. Pass. Portations on me. Bruh. Garg CPs should cost 10 and throw 5 Gargs. <laughs> that would be a good card. Face the ban hammer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the weakness of this deck is actually teleportation zombie. He has a bungee plumber? We're messed up. Stupid teleportation <laughs> messes up everything we do. It just makes him pass. Listen, the reason Teleportation Zombie is such a good answer to this deck is because it's so much easier to set up an OTK if they've just committed a bunch of zombies. If they have Teleportation Zombie, they're not going to commit anything, so then you commit into the OTK and then they answer you with tricks. You have to wait till they don't have enough speed. Uh, this is pretty good. I just killed the con, man. Probably should, actually. Hmm. Okay. Dang! <laughs> God damn it. Crap. This is okay. This is fine. Yeet. Yeet. Boing! Uh, 
Oh, it's chemist. Oh, snap. I don't know what the play is here. Ooh. Uh, third grade responsibility would be good here. I think we do this just for a card. Garlic. Oh. Oh. What do we do with this? Oh. Sunstrike should win next turn. <laughs> Free cake's not even that good here. Or sun strikes. I'm kind of going all in on the uh, OT. <laughs> oh, look at that guy go! Okay, so he's down to two now. Down to two now. I'm up two now. Oh. <laughs> I want to be ninja. It's in the. Oh, cuckoo! Here we go! Here we go! We have lethal in three lanes now. Drone engineer, oh no! That's lethal. <laughs> ah, sun strikes for the win every single time. Watch him get deadly from Quasar. Shut anyway. up and take my money. Thank you so much, Drake. Sorry for sniping <laughs> Fry. This was my first attempt ever and didn't actually expect to get it. Love your bits. Thank you, Dragon Skywalker. <laughs> For at least owning your owning your SH1 T. Thanks for the two dollar donation. That's sweet. <laughs> you missed lethal on turn negative one. Da -da -da -da. I think I'm very sensitive to false accusations. I think that's part of my like life narrative. I see how much destruction there is in the world. Based on, on like, people... I'm going to do this in the podcast tonight. It's Sunday, so June 14th. I'll do this. I'm going to talk about tonight and how when people are in pain, you need to validate their pain and believe them. But the moment they start pointing their finger at another person and blaming them, they're going to need a lot of evidence. And you should not accept what they say until they present irrefutable evidence. This is the problem nowadays. People pointing their finger at the president or pointing their finger at immigrants or pointing their finger at the police and blaming them for all their problems. And uh, that is a really, really bad attitude. First of all, you're never going to, if you have things, if you have problems, the main person who's going to fix them is yourself, not others. It's when you see people play video games, when you play like Overwatch, for example. Uh, at the end of every single game, every nine-year-old is always pointing fingers, everyone else saying, oh, you didn't do enough damage, you didn't heal me enough. They're always pointing, and that's why they stay at such a low rank, is because they're not uh, finding anything in themselves to improve. Uh, it's like that in everything in life. If a person doesn't have a job and you're just pointing your fingers at, at, at immigrants and you're saying that's the reason, that's not the reason. It's not the reason. If you want to say, I mean, if you need immigration reform, you identify a problem, you do that. But don't blame other people for, for your issues. Maybe that's a similar thing when people say, like, oh, Miss Lethal, like, I don't... There's so much destruction and lack of progress happening nowadays uh, because of this sort of thing. I guess I just see the see the destruction and it just reminds me. Obviously, people saying Miss Lethal when you didn't doesn't matter, but there's that, that same thing is being applied, unfortunately. In places where it shan't. Uh, question is, what do we do here? We don't really have an answer to this, do we? We do have this, though. I'll go with this one. The problem is the Jews. Exactly. That's what they did in Germany back in back by, by World War II, is they had all these economic issues, and they needed a scapegoat. Go. So they pointed their fingers at the Jews and said, that's the reason why our economy is bad, is because all those rich 
all those those rich billionaires, greedy. They're just thinking about themselves. And the only reason the cor corporate taxes is in order to benefit a bunch of wealthy billionaires. It's not true. Poor people are po are poor. It's not because rich people are rich. It's such a it's such a easy it's such an easy out. It's such a dumb thing to say. And what do we do? Uh, go for the damage here. Wealthy billionaire. I can also do this move. Probably good just to go for damage here. Our opponent's minions are like the lead, the, <laughs> the not 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 our not our main concern. We'll put it that way. This is half of his health. And if the Simo kills a 4-2, it's fine. So I'll probably move the... Uh, actually kill the Forget Me Nuts here by moving the Primal Wall not behind something. Move it behind the, the Health Nut would be the best play. No! Ooh. I don't like that play. Why not kill the Forget Me Nuts there? You didn't see it. Rich people are rich because they're providing a lot of goods and services. Big corporations are big because they're providing very efficiently a lot of goods and services to people at prices that are way lower than small businesses can. So the prices of everything are a lot cheaper meaning your, the quality of life of poor people is so much higher because there are big billionaire corporations. Helps everyone so much. Oh, how good is the sun strike here? We could win. It's not very likely. Uh, the, obviously the onion rings is just a piece of garbage in this deck. Uh, let's just go. <laughs> Getting garbage. Wow, there's a pogo. Ugh. Where did he get this? He got this from his freaking. Ugh, it's so annoying. Yeah, I'll play on pogo now. That's what. That's what's happening. That died. I don't know. He's, he just did not. If he would have moved the primal walnut, he wouldn't have had a problem there. Now what do we do? We try to get him right in the face. This is fine. If he killed the forget me nuts, then I would have had lethal with Sunstrike. <laughs> there you go. It was a million IQ. The guy played around it to perfection. We'll do this next turn. Yeah, it'll heal the laser beam for five, which is super fly. Super, super. It's just laser bean and and geyser. <laughs> no one cares. It's a lot of damage. He's not gonna be able to deal with like this one is worse on heights because of alien news, but then he doesn't have an answer to to lane for. <gasps> oh, this deck's doing well. I will do a podcast on the death penalty. Or on really it got on on punishment for crime in general. I should write that idea down. <sighs> Why we punish Criminals death. I don't think they announced the season end date until it's close to the end of the season. I don't think that's a matter of maybe there's a pattern. I don't know you can look at the past ones. I, I don't. I don't. I don't pay attention to when the season resets. 
Wow, it's pretty bad. With this beard, you look like Deep Fry. <laughs> what the podcast do you plan on doing in the future? I have like 20 ideas here. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about what I just, just talked about before about blaming people. I'm going to give examples including Black Lives Matter and how that's destructive behavior. I think this is fire. <laughs> what is this guy? It's a free to play smash deck. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? I'm going to talk about... I can talk about the psychology of racism. I think I'll talk about that. I don't want to really make the whole podcast about racism, though. We're going to do other topics, too. What else do I have planned for tonight for the podcast? Um, uh, I'm going to talk about why the media... The, the tremendous fight... <laughs> I wonder if he has an environment, guys. Let's see. Hmm. He's running C Bucket Bay, too. That's the only thing he's gonna have. Frickin' Bucket Bay. Uh, I'm not gonna play Legends of Runeterra tonight. We'll do that tomorrow night. Tonight we're doing the podcast. <gasps> Guys, he's running Bucket Bay! <laughs> bucket Bay OP. Frickin' Bucket Bay. Well, he was setting a bucket bay. That was a great play, guys. Now it's a 2-5. That's so good. Is that Sumo? <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> this guy's so annoying. He's really going to Sumo me now. Okay. <sighs> what should I do here? I don't have a good play. Sumo is so strong against this deck. Why are we only facing hardy heroes? I just give me a, like a nice super brains or someone. Huge giganticus. Give me electric boogaloo even. This is fine. You think it's rat? You think it's really rat? Maybe it is. It's rat. <laughs> you guys were right. Oh! <laughs> you know what? This guy is definitely running Terrify. It's the all free to play cards. It's only only commons and uncommons. Now. Look at this guy. He can't run Sumo. Sumo is too expensive. Gosh, Bucket Bay OP. <laughs> free to play Smash. He's going to beat me too. Too strong. I need the. Uh, Strike through. Oh! <laughs> this is such a wholesome deck! Guys, I'm feeling inspired now. Look how wholesome this guy is. What do we even do here? Uh, we always clear this lane. Should I move this one? We move this out of Bucket Bay. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> Get it! <laughs> no Bucket Bay for you. Bananasaurus! Ooh, finally got a good card from Prime Walnut. Instead of freaking Cornucopia, wow. Here we go. <laughs> See you next time! Whoop. And he's a 4 2. What a loser. Leader. What a leader. <laughs> Look at our lane. Look at our lane, too, though. Hey, <laughs> he's gonna leave Bucket Bear again. <laughs> running Thanos Yeti? This is the most random grab, grab bag of cards I've ever seen. Uh, I think it's just Laser Beam. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> Becky, let me smash.
Okay, well, we have a bunch of cards now. I should probably kill, try to kill this thing. Kill this guy. Oh, I'll do it next turn with the B-Rex, I guess. Yeet. How are we almost dead against this guy? How is he beating? No, he's not beating us. Inf me. Oh! Watch him upgrade the... Th why did he not play Thanos yet? He has Locust Storm, that's why. <laughs> Locust Storm this. Thank you so much, Iron Set. Why do you play any other card games other than Lore and PVZH? Not, not, not at the moment. No, I don't. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, Locust Storm. He's gonna pass now. He's gonna pass on that grass. <laughs> he was going for it. I feel so bad killing this guy. If he survives this turn, I'm gonna concede. Heal? Gonna heal for real? No, he didn't get heal. Too bad. I can't even concede, it doesn't work. Alright guys, that was a hard matchup though. I bet you anything he had Locust Storm. Alright guys, we're going for 7 and 3. I told you this deck is good. It's gonna make Kimi proud. Magic Gathering Arena. I started playing that and I got really turned off of Magic the Gathering Arena because um, it, the, it, 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 you just get hand screwed so much because you have to have early game, late game, and lands in your hand. Like throwing lands in as cards, I, I, I just don't like that mechanic. I know that in the advanced levels of the game, um, eventually you'll have cards that are able to sort through your deck and give you the land you need or give you the card that you want. But when you're just starting, half of the games end up you getting hand screwed. You either get all late game, or you get all early game and no late game, or you just get all lands, or no lands. There's like four ways of getting hand screwed. As opposed to this card game, you only have two ways of getting hand screwed. Why is everyone writing F? Is my stream lagging? Oh, press F to pay respects for the 0 and 9 dream. Respect. Oh, F to pay respects to that smash. He was such a wholesome guy. I know. I would have conceded if he would have gotten a heal. That would have been it. Fry, can you please greet my friend Basam Shaka? He was a drug addict. But your videos and streams helped him through rehab. I I, I mean, uh, ha big shout out to Basam Shaka. Um, I, I'm happy I'm able to help people in that way. Man. Man, oh man. That's that's also very wholesome. I, I it, it's weird as a YouTube creator. I've heard this before. Of like the amount, like I'm not. It feels like I'm just making gaming and entertainment videos, but people... I, I've had so many people who have, who have told me that my content has helped them through hard times in life. It's really hard. I really appreciate when people come back to me and tell me that kind of thing, because as it's really hard for me to recognize that. You know? I don't realize... I don't, I, it's very hard for me just sitting here knowing the way that the content I make impacts people. Hopefully I'll be able to even do more of that once I get the podcast. Well, the podcast is already going. I think I'm already doing it. Gotta keep, keep the podcast going. Very sweet of you. What a wholesome stream we have today. Is that a pogo? Go away. 
Why did he play the pogo here, though? Why would... Fail. He wants to weaken the spike weed sector with the pogo. <laughs> it's not how it works. Oh! <laughs> Look at this guy go. Look at this guy go. Should I just shamrock at that? Or should I say do that later? Screw it, I'm just shamrocking. You wanna know why the Dying Pharaoh is a bad card? Shamrock it. Easy. I could have just taken the 4 damage. I kind of don't want to take 4 damage here. It's actually a lot. We'll be down to 12. Where did he get the Pharaoh from? He got it from the Buried Treasure. It was turn 5. Play a trick. The cat would have had three health anyway, though. <laughs> Guys, stop giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'll, I'll try to make more ways to spend fries. We're going to have some creative ways, like 50,000 points. You can change the name of the deck or something like that. Hopefully <laughs> some crazy stuff. Easy. Seven and three. Told you guys, deck's amazing. Can hit ultimate league with this... Who are we playing against today? Some of these opponents were just like, woo! Anyway, um, the deck did pretty poorly the first few games, then we kind of made a comeback. This was an awkward stream, but I think it's fun enough to put on YouTube. Extremely awkward. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace. Let's try. <laughs> I don't know.